Hi, today I will show you a few new things that are introduced in Brainwave 1.1. Uh, the main big feature in Brainwave 1.1 is the support for core meeting. So let's have a look at uh, how it's implemented and how it works. Uh, first off, um, each of the instruments now have a new MIDI enable icon. It's uh, right above the uh, mute icon and you can enable any of the instrument to transmit MIDI. So globally in uh, Brainwave, when you want to enable uh, MIDI, all you need to do is enable at least one of the instrument so that uh, MIDI network uh, it gets, uh, is, is connectable. All right, so let's do this. Uh, I can press individual channels like this, or if I can, if I press longer, I can enable all of them at once. Now we can see on the Mac that we have uh, our MIDI connection that's uh, ready for us to use. So we'll connect that like this, and then um, let's pop uh, our Pro Tools. So this is Pro Tools. I've uh, con already configured some tracks to receive MIDI uh, and also some virtual instruments so I can look at uh, the different instruments I have mapped uh, on each of the, uh, of the channels like this. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we're going to try testing it. So right now I'm going to select uh, the bass line and uh, I, can press on the, I can press on the keyboard and it's going to play uh, on the Mac. Um, what's cool is that I can also go into uh, into the arrangement window and play the entire song for example. So I'll just play it back. And as you can see it's actually connecting to Pro Tools and transmitting MIDI via the network. So pretty much all the functions that play a note in Brainwave is uh, MIDI enable. So I can stop this, go into the clip, and basically, um, let's say, have a look at the piano line uh, and play it back uh, on the MIDI network. Like this. Okay. Um, in addition to this, uh, Brainwave can also receive MIDI beat clock. So it means that the actual uh, Pro Tools can send MIDI beat clocks to synchronize Brainwave so that uh, it controls it. So we'll do this. Um, let's press the play on the control surface. And as you can see, I haven't pressed play on the iPad, but the song is actually tracking the right time. setting that uh, I'd like to show you is the uh, MIDI latency. So depending on the, the condition of your network, sometimes uh, messages will um, have some lag or will play uh, with uh, a bit of errors. And you can actually control the MIDI latency with this setting here. So you can go from high latency to low latency. The default is medium latency. There we go, that's pretty much it for core MIDI. Um, I would like to point out that uh, it also supports uh, connecting directly to a USB synth uh, and it has exactly the same feature. So that's it, thank you.